Hi folks, Anton Brown here. This is my uh, video on mic stand. It's got a bit of a cold, so excuse me. Or some of my dissatisfactions. This is the average uh, mic stand. It's quite a good quality one. It's German. It might be can or better than me. So as you know, you uh, open them up. One of the problems I've had, which I find quite irritating with some of them, not necessarily this, is that the legs become loose. So if I, um, these are quite firm. So that's fine. You get some where this becomes, they become loose. So the legs, when you pick the mic stand up, the legs drop down and just hang. And then uh, you have the problem if you're holding something. When you're going to put the mic stand down, you can't. If you can see, so you have to start trying to spread the legs with your foot, which is not very elegant. And so that can happen. And sometimes there's no way of tightening them up. I've had that on a few mic stands. That's a bit irritating. The other bit that I find always seems to come loose is just here where the boom screws on. Now there are some spanner flats there so I guess really it's a, not a normal spanner. So you end up keep tightening it and it gets loose again and the thing wobbles around. I suppose you could put the thread lock on there, it's a bit like a super glue but can be undone. But I've never got around to doing that. So that's a little bit of an irritation. Sometimes it comes undone of course when you're turning this one. Another irritation can be this kind of clutch mechanism here. You should really undo it before you move it. A lot of people don't, they just leave it the same time and drag the thing. So this wears after a while, and as you know, if you've got, if you've got the boom with quite an extension like this, with a hefty-ish microphone on it, the usual thing is that you start to see it um, drooping. Sometimes you have to do it really tight, and it makes a noise through the, the system. So I've never been particularly satisfied with that. I looked to see if then I thought 2006 there must be something better surely and indeed I think maybe there is and that's what I'm going to show you now you pay a price for it mind so that's the standard microphone stand and let me show you the new one we'll unbox it and see okay the the new one Okay, the new one that I've ordered comes in bits, it's kind of modular, so this is the uh, base. Oops. It's pretty heavy. This is the boom. which is <laughs> pretty heavy as well. Very nice box. And this is an extension I got, which isn't strictly necessary. Which holds the um, microphone, but you could put the microphone straight on the boom or even straight on the stand. Again, very nicely packaged. Uh, it's a bit like a watch. And I don't know how much one this packaging costs. It is a microphone stand after all. I'm wondering if that's a bit over the top. But it's very nice, for sure. I'm wondering how much it cost me by the packaging. So let me put it together and we'll uh, see what it looks like. This is a base unit. This one has got a clutch mechanism here, so we should not pull the centre column. The legs are on click stops, which is a set of advantages I'll show you later. And then you can four different angles, I believe. So let's put the fully out for a minute. Now, already you're uh, holding it here, I can feel this is quite weighty. The spread of the legs is reasonable. 
I, I don't like the legs too long because often when you're with um, other stands and stuff, there's no room for it and the legs get in the way. Uh, so this is reasonable. The weight, this isn't going to topple over easily, I wouldn't have thought. It's the base, the top bit, another clutch. And extend. Just put it there for a minute. First time out of its packaging. Eh. Okay. Sorry. So there we go. There's a special connection to the top, which I'll show you how that works. Other than that, you have uh, this. I haven't used this before, so. So what does that do? Well that obviously moves out, it's got quite a weight on the end to counterbalance which is great, not going to topple over but means the all up weight of the thing is uh, considerable What I like about having that kind of a boom is that the other boom is quite long and it's fixed so often, like the other day I was somewhere and I either stand quite close and the tail end and I wanted the boom away but the tail end, because it's a fixed one uh, was sticking out in the view and the path where customers, people will be, sorry, walking past and so they can hit it and it hits the mic and you've all had that before I'm sure. So it's quite nice to be able to make this one compact. I'm going to mount it to the uh, stand. Can you see it? Oh you can. Now I'm not quite sure how this, how this works. I know there's a thing you pull down there so I'm just going to So if it works just like that, so you don't have to, it's a hex, hexagonal shape. So, is that fixed? This is the clutch, and on this one, loads of movement, and yeah, it's new, but very secure. It can move this way as well, so you can have the side, possibly over the top for if you're just a singer, like him, but I do various things as you might know, play piano and sing, the whole thing's pretty heavy as we said, anyway, play piano and sing, so I'd like to, I like to have it, the keyboards here, I like to have the mic stand, so throw it somewhere here. So the mic is here, and there's room for the keyboard, and I use that, that bit all that much anyway. So, fine, as far as that's concerned. One final thing, of course, to put on is, this is the mic extension, which I guess isn't strictly necessary, but I thought it'd be useful to have, so that would fit. Again, same kind of clutch thing you pull back. And it's on. So, it's quite a fine um, adjustment. One final thing to add is a new uh, biodynamic mic holder. screws on. I just have to, uh, it's got a adapter in there and that doesn't require it so it's going to get a screwdriver. So there it is. Compared to
I would say this one's got to be more than twice the weight, possibly even three times. So there's that to consider. One other thing that's quite useful in certain uh, situations, it seems to me, is that the feet can be moved thusly, which means if you're tight for space, they don't take up so much room because of the weight of the thing. Even with that narrow spread, it's unlikely to uh, topple over. You could. them at an angle, so therefore see that. The stand is an angle giving you a bit more leeway if there are things. So again, if you're a vocalist, probably overkill. You do various things as I tend to do. Um, I'm sure it's got its uses, possibly other kids as well. But uh, for what I do, but um, there's nothing it can handle, as far as I can see. The weight uh, could be an issue. I don't have a van, so I'm just put things in my. If you're going to carry it far, uh, the weight could be an issue. Just have another one, a cheap one, that you use for if you're doing gigs like that, where you have to go on a train or just carry stuff. Uh, other than that. Oh, I should tell you what it is. It's the triode orbit. The base is a T2. I think that's called a 01. I'm not sure what that's called.